So if you enter Castello Branco, the town from the city, sorry, from um, the direction of Penamacor, you'll find this, which looks like a giant car scrapyard. But in actual fact, it's uh, a local guy who collects cars. I'm not sure of the reason. I have spoke to the guy, but I didn't quite understand the reason. I think he just does it for the sake of it. Paints them black or white or red. Um, and there's even a couple of military green ones in here now, but there is some classics in here. And initially I thought, this is amazing. And now I, I, it breaks my heart to see some of the things in here. And he won't sell them. Um, they're literally for his design, his art purposes. Um, there was a Datsun 240Z in here not long ago, and it was like the talk of everyone. Oh, have you seen it in there? But I think it's gone. So he must have been offered something that he couldn't refuse for that, and I'm not surprised. But we're talking hand-painted in black. It was just horribly painted, and I don't think they've got engines in or anything. Um, the suspension sits quite high on some of them, so they've definitely had parts taken out of them. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will show you a little bit of this. So as you can see, there's a Fiat 127 there, a 128 Fiat next to it, like mine, only the slightly older version, Renault 5, a lot of trucks, stuff that I've never heard of before, a beautiful Bedford truck painted white behind there, but you can't really see it, Ford P100. Some old, uh, I think they're called Neckers, or they might be Rileys over the back. None of the Fiat 128. Notice that I'm spotting them quite easily. Opal, which I think is a Viva, Vauxhall Viva. Uh, a beautiful Mercedes there. I think that Mercedes would just make the coolest retro hearse drag car. I've just spotted this cool, um, what looks like a Fiat camper here that's got a, um, like a Valisette on the top of it and some bottles and stuff. Looks really cool, really cool. Old military trucks. I mean, there's some absolute gems in here. Absolute gems. Mini Metro with the hydroelastic suspension gone, obviously. What looks like an American pickup. Looks like it's been used as a water uh, carrier. Also quite a bit of old equipment in here, old pumps, uh, ploughs, tractor parts, things like that. Just been literally sprayed with Rust-Oleum Black. Land Rover, worth a pretty penny over here. Willy's Jeep. Uh, so the 240Z, the 240Z is definitely gone, so he's obviously been made an offer he couldn't refuse. Um, some old American Yankee heavyweight there. And uh, Pajero in the back there, that's seven seater. That's quite a rare beast these days as well. I'm gonna swear now, but if ever there was a shit car, it would be the Citroen Visa. And there's two of the lovely ones sat there in red, fading away. I like this thing on the end. I'm not quite sure what it is. It looks like a, Nissan of some sort somebody will probably correct me but literally a car fan could spend all day here it's normally got a lot more cars so I reckon he's doing something with it so maybe he's removed the 240z for some reason you can tell that that's my favorite one obviously